a cutting-edge aircraft, a national airline in revival, and a crash that should have never happened. When Air India's Boeing 787 fell from the sky less than a minute after takeoff, it didn't just kill over 260 people, it shattered the illusion of safety built around one of Boeing's most ambitious planes. But this wasn't a one-off tragedy. From hidden defects to ignored warnings and a paper trail that points to a far bigger cover-up, what's unfolding now could be the most serious reckoning Boeing and Air India have ever faced. Here's why. By now, most of us have seen the headlines. Air India Flight 171, a Boeing 787 Dreamliner, plummeted just seconds after takeoff from Mumbai on June 12, 2025. It was a near vertical drop, 241 lives lost, plus 19 on the ground. Only one person survived. But here's what really made experts freeze. Both engines failed at takeoff. No warning, no bird strike, no weather event, and the aircraft's emergency ram air turbine deployed, signaling a possible complete electrical failure. Investigators are still analyzing fuel samples, FADEC data, and the possibility of contaminated supply chains. But no matter the final cause, one thing is clear. Something went catastrophically wrong on a jet that was never supposed to fail this way. And it's a terrifying possibility that a systemic failure, not just a random accident, brought this plane down that set the stage for what came next. To really understand what happened with Air India 171, we have to go back, way back, to when the Dreamliner was still on the drawing board. The Boeing 787 wasn't just another jet, it was a revolution on wings. Lighter composite materials, cutting edge aerodynamics, next-gen electronics. It promised lower fuel costs, longer range, and a better flying experience. But from day one, it was a project plagued by delays, cost overruns, and shortcuts. Boeing spent over $32 billion bringing the Dreamliner to life four years late. And when it finally entered service in 2011, it wasn't long before things started to crack, literally. Within the first two years, there were battery fires that forced emergency landings, fuel leaks, engine issues, and even micro cracks in the fuselage. In 2013, the entire fleet was grounded after multiple lithium ion battery fires. The FAA called it a safety risk. Boeing called it growing pains, but the pain never really stopped. Fast forward to 2021 and 2022, Boeing was forced to pause Dreamliner deliveries for over a year after inspectors found gaps in fuselage joints, defective titanium parts, and alignment errors so bad they could compromise the structural integrity of the aircraft. And many of these problems weren't discovered in flight. They were showing up while the planes were parked on the ground. Then came the real bombshell. In 2024, a veteran engineer from Boeing's Charleston assembly line stepped forward. He claimed, under oath, that critical parts of the fuselage were being bonded improperly. Inspections were skipped. Pressure checks ignored. In some cases, gaps that should have been reworked were simply filled with silicone or epoxy to make them look airtight. His 120-page whistleblower complaint painted a damning picture a company cutting corners to keep production moving, knowing full well that long-term fatigue and internal cracking could result. And here's the quote that stopped everyone cold, taken from an internal Boeing email. If we recall the entire fleet of Dreamliners to inspect the fuselage joints, we'll lose billions. No one has the guts to do that. That's not just negligence. That's a gamble with human lives. It's no wonder that within the aviation industry, insiders started calling the Dreamliner not a marvel, but a flying coffin. By the time Air India Flight 171 went down, the public still saw the 787 as sleek and modern. But behind the scenes, engineers and regulators had been raising red flags for years. 
and Boeing. It seems they were more worried about losing contracts than fixing what could now be seen as one of the most structurally compromised aircraft of its generation. But Boeing wasn't the only one under the microscope, because the signs of failure? They were visible on Air India's end too. Let's be clear, Boeing may have built the plane, but Air India flew it. And the deeper investigators dug into the crash, the more unsettling the picture became. Not just of technical failure, but of institutional carelessness. Before the flight ever took off, there were signs. Clear, documented, and disturbingly ignored. According to multiple insiders, engineers and pilots had already raised concerns months prior to the crash about inconsistent thrust performance during takeoff in several Dreamliners. In fact, at least two official reports were filed internally, noting abnormally weak engine response. One pilot even insisted the aircraft felt underpowered in climb-out. And the outcome? Silence. Actually, worse than silence. One engineer who raised concerns was quietly let go. Fired. No formal investigation. No technical audit. Just erased from the system. That's not a technical flaw, that's a culture of suppression. And when Air India Flight 171 finally did go down, Air India's response only deepened the suspicion. Within hours, the airline rushed to blame unusual weather and hinted at a possible lightning strike, even though meteorological data clearly showed stable, clear skies during takeoff. It wasn't until the black box data was publicly confirmed that Air India began to revise its narrative but by then the damage was done, not just to the aircraft, but to public trust. Even more troubling, maintenance records for the flight were missing. Six months of logs, gone. Air India said it was due to a digital storage system error. Really? For a long-haul aircraft with sophisticated electronic maintenance tracking, this is either an unacceptable failure of protocol or a convenient excuse. Either way, it's not something you expect from an airline trying to reestablish itself as world class. And let's not pretend this is the first time. Air India's safety record over the past three decades reads like a tragic pattern. In 1990, an Airbus A320 crashed in Bangalore after pilots selected the wrong landing mode. 92 people dead. In 2010, Flight 812 overshot the runway in Mangaluru, 158 killed. In 2020, another Air India Express flight skidded off the runway in Kojikode, broke apart, and killed 17. Different planes, different circumstances, but one thing connects them all. Human error, overlooked protocols, and poor crisis management. So when we ask what went wrong on June 12th, it's not just about a broken jet. It's about a broken chain of accountability. Because if engineers warned about thrust issues, and those warnings were buried, if maintenance logs disappeared, if early lies were told about weather, then we're not just dealing with a technical disaster. We're dealing with willful neglect, the kind that doesn't just end careers, but ends lives. When a modern jet crashes, like Air India Flight 171 did, it doesn't just make headlines, it rattles the very foundation of global aviation. The immediate fallout was brutal. Boeing stock plummeted nearly 5% overnight, wiping billions off its market value. Investors panicked, not just because of one crash, but because it echoed a pattern. A pattern that had already cost the company dearly after the 737 MAX crisis. And regulators? They snapped into action. The FAA, under intense pressure, reopened investigations into the entire 787 assembly process not just at Boeing's Charleston facility, but across its global supply chain, including parts sourced from Japan, Italy, and Malaysia. Airlines around the world began launching emergency inspections of their Dreamliner fleets. Several carriers quietly pulled 787 from certain long-haul routes. Others started flagging the aircraft in booking systems, allowing passengers to switch flights if they didn't feel safe. Let that sink in for a second. A flagship jet so controversial that passengers are actively avoiding it. That's not just a reputational crisis. It's a full-blown confidence collapse. And the damage doesn't stop with the 787. 
Upcoming Boeing models, like the 737 MAX 7, MAX 10, and the long-awaited 777X are now under a new level of scrutiny. Certification delays, more red tape, and a growing fear that Boeing's internal problems run deeper than the public was told. Meanwhile, Airbus is watching it all unfold and cashing in. Orders for the A350 and A330 NEO, already praised for reliability, have surged. Airlines looking to renew or expand their fleets are increasingly ditching Boeing in favor of Airbus, not because of performance, but because of trust. And in aviation, trust is the most valuable currency there is. But beyond the boardrooms and booking systems, there's a bigger question hanging in the air. Is modern aviation really as safe as we've been led to believe? Or has the pressure to innovate faster, produce cheaper, and deliver bigger profits come at the cost of something far more precious, human life? For Air India, the timing couldn't be worse. Under the leadership of the Tata Group, the airline was in the middle of a massive, expensive transformation, rebranding itself as a world-class carrier. New uniforms, new branding, better service, better food. And at the center of this rebirth, a fleet of 33 Boeing 787 Dreamliners, the backbone of its international strategy. From London to New York, Sydney to Frankfurt, the Dreamliner was supposed to carry the airline's new image across the globe. But all it took was one catastrophic failure to bring it crashing down, literally and symbolically. After the Flight 171 tragedy, flight cancellations surged. International media began openly questioning India's aviation safety standards. The plan to integrate Airbus A350, another key to global expansion, is now reportedly on hold as leadership reevaluates the entire long-haul strategy. Because the truth is this, Air India didn't just lose an aircraft, it lost control of its own narrative. The tragedy exposed cracks not just in metal, but in management, in oversight, and in accountability. And for a brand trying to win back the trust of global travelers, that's a fatal blow. And this isn't just about one airline or one company. It's a wake-up call for the entire aviation industry. For Boeing, the Dreamliner was supposed to be the redemption story after the 737 MAX disaster. Instead, it may now mark the beginning of a much deeper reckoning, one that threatens future projects, certification timelines, and long-term credibility with regulators, investors, and most importantly, the flying public. Because here's the truth no one wants to admit, you can build the most advanced jet on Earth. You can pour billions into innovation. But if trust breaks down, everything falls.